so as you can see, our banner is a shuk. So the pasuk that is written on the roof above the shuk is the following: The halchu amim rabim the amru lechu v'naale el har Hashem vayer vayer nu midracha v'naale. And many people shall go, and they shall say, Come, let us go up to the Lord's mount, and let him teach us of his ways, and we will go in his paths. The shuk was painted from the perspective of somebody that's actually in the shuk, following a literal path to, that guides them through the multifaceted culture of Jerusalem. The range of items sold in the shuk represent the diversity of Jerusalem. We have a stand selling IDF merchandise next to a vendor selling Arabic books and clothing. This juxtaposition portrays the mingling of cultures and heritages in Jerusalem. As it says in Malachim Aleph, Vigam el Hanukri, Asher lo me'amcha Yisrael, hu uba me'eretz rechelka leman shemecha. And also to the stranger who is not of your people, Israel, but will come from a far country for the sake of your name. Jer Jerusalem also embodies a mingling of old and new culture and tradition. The columns on either side of the shuk pay homage to the cardo, the ancient shuk in Jerusalem. <laughs> 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 the olive branches around these pillars are referencing Jerusalem's emblem and act as a symbol of peace. The vendor selling fruits over there also sh um, shows also sells the Shiva Minim, the seven fruits of Israel, which are a staple of food in both the ancient and modern Jerusalem. <laughs> On either side of the shuk, there are important landmarks in Jerusalem. The Dome of the Rock represents the architectural diversity of cultures in Jerusalem. The windmill, Montefiore's windmill, which is located in Yamin Moshe, played a key role in the reunification of Jerusalem. After the war was over, a cast iron cap was placed on the windmill to keep it sturdy. We wanted to portray how we have established and continue to cultivate a nation of our own despite the thwarts of our enemies. At the end of the Shook Street, gates open to the Kotel, which is a prime example of how we have not given up and it's a constant reminder to remain faithful and strong. Thank you. Thank you, Team Tarboots. Thank you.